Here's a few different ways I like to start a painting from totally blank canvases. Um, pencil. So I already know I like to paint heads. And I'm drawn to painting heads and I see heads and things. So I already know that about myself. You have to kind of like have to figure out by painting and sketching a bunch of stuff what you feel like doing it over and over again. Like what subject kind of like draws you in. So well, let's just say I'm going to start this canvas right here. I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do a head. Okay, that came out kind of wonky. I don't really care. Um, I divide my head. Kind of just really rough. Get it going. Right, so I'm eyes, nose, nose. Anyway, so if I want to, I can just paint right over this. If I um, cool thing about starting with pencil is I can remove the lines. Not completely, especially not off these cheap um, canvas boards. No offense to cheap canvas boards, but you can see that I can kind of clean it up. I don't care really too much, honestly, personally, because I will just layer it. Sometimes it's nice to see that weird cross hatching stuff. I mean, you know, crosshairs or whatever in there too. Why did I call it crosshairs? <laughs> okay, so there's one way to start a painting. I just do a sketch right on it. Okay. And then there's another way is to just go directly with Sharpie, right? Some people I know will cringe because I'll I'll use Sharpie on the canvas, but because it's so like permanent. But um as long as you commit to like covering all the Sharpie with a really dark color or black. Um, it totally works out fine for me because my art is like messy and weird enough that it's okay. So let's just say I have this like fine tip Sharpie and this woman is going to have crazy hair. Right? Now the cool thing about um, Sharpie is that if I wanted to do like a dark background and I'm like, oh my gosh, I started the sketch without painting the background, I'll be able to see the Sharpie through it. And I can particularly choose paint and manipulate even a dark color so that you can still see the Sharpie through it. Okay, I have a weird thing with swirls, so let's get a swirl in there. Okay, Ooh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Ears, well, that's not really where ears go, but that's where they're going today. Anyways, okay, so I didn't want to cover all the pencils, so you can see it later if I try to cover it with um, paint. So now I got this Sharpie in there. I can let's see if there was if there was pencil that I was gonna do the sharpie over. I this is the time where I can go back and brace it clean it up. But as I've gotten that whatever more do making more art, I like the messiness underneath. I like the challenge of trying to cover it. So Alright, let's just continue with this one I guess, huh? Now that we know where this person's head is and just for fun Okay, neck and shoulders. Okay, let's just get that on there just to make this weird. Like I'm like telling myself to stop and then I can't. That's like a true mark of a creative person. To get sucked in. Easy. To the art. Okay, close enough for me. I don't care if it's weird. I can just go right over this now. Let's say... 
I am going to just pick any two colors. I don't even care. So I'm going to pick light color so that you can see what what it's like to see through, okay? Maybe one light, one dark, so you can kind of get a vibe of like how that feels. So let's do two colors. This green is looking really dry. Let me grab a green that's also dry. Okay, no problem. Open it. Okay, so I guess I started without getting all my problem, proper supplies in order, but that's fine. Yeah. I use this palette knife all the time just to like get paint out. Okay, so we're going to do, so the, we've already done two things. We've done starter painting using pencil, starter painting using Sharpie. And now this is something you can also do without any of the drawing stuff underneath it. But I'm going to do it over the drawing so you can see yet another way to start a painting, okay? So I'm going to put some yellow here. I just put too much on these tiny boards. Get some yellow. And then just clean the palette knife. That's why it's so cool for squeaking paint. Get some green. Okay, and like, how crazy is that? It just went right on there. I just don't care. All right, so. Now, I'm just going to make my... Let's see, let me make sure my brush isn't black. This one doesn't look too good. Um... Hmm, should I... No, I'm going to do this. Because I want to do is a flat brush. Wide flat brush. Any two colors on earth. Okay? If you choose like a light green and a dark green. Or like a light red and a dark red. They'll obviously go together. But I'm choosing a light and a dark color. So you can see that you can sometimes see the drawing through. And sometimes you can't. Okay. So I'm getting my paintbrush wet. And I'm just, there's no point. I mean, of course there's a point. There's no rules. It's just um, get the paint to go across. And then when it starts to hit the green, the other, the other color, it'll start doing stuff. So, okay. Do you like how I'm like, I didn't go to art school, so I'm like, it just starts doing stuff. That's my in-depth description. But as you can see, you can see the pencil through still. Unless I put a really dark color over that, see that? And the pencil kind of goes away. I have way too much paint, so I'm going to wipe them off. Okay, so now I'm going to grab some of this yellow and move it over here. There's really like I'm not trying to get locked into anything other than cover, cover the canvas. Okay. Cool, right? It's cool that there's like these weird little patterns in there. So imagine now I've repainted the face, I've repainted the hair, and you have all these cool like slash marks and stuff coming out and creating depth behind that. Okay? You can still see the you can still see the Sharpie and the pencil through it enough to, to guide yourself. Okay, so that's like three different methods. Pencil and Sharpie and then just Two colors, no rules. I'm going to do a different kind of, of two colors with a little bit of rules. I should probably wash my brush more. Maybe I'll just switch brushes because we're recording. <laughs> okay, ang angle brush. Huge wide one. Let's do red and yellow.
Okay. Get the bread on there. Okay. I always get my brush wet first. Boom. This one has a little bit more rhyme or reason than just two colors and smash them around. But it doesn't have that much either. Just consistent shapes. I'm sure that there's like names for all this stuff if you go to art school. Maybe you can tell me in the comments <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> and I personally don't care if I hit my table because I've had it for so long. I want a new table anyway. Okay, so when I get close to the halfway mark, I try to clean my brush off a lot. Get a lot of that paint off there. And then do this like clearer area. More transparent, but the same kind of motions. See how I'm like just not really caring. Just doing, I guess, right angles or 45 degree swooshes. Slaps. <laughs> okay, filling that all in while it's wet. Maybe a little bit color, a little bit darker, darker spots. Okay, now I'm gonna get that same brush. Get out a different color. What did I say I was gonna use? Yellow. Man, this is yellow light enough. I guess I'm gonna use it either way. I'm just putting paint on the canvas directly so that I don't have to use a palette. Oh, I should have washed my brush, but let's just go for it. I don't care. Okay, so I'm just doing the same motion in the yellow back towards the red. And just because you did those few sw swooshes in there, wow. Oh. Um, to begin with, I mean, these, like, clearer brush strokes, those will help these colors merge together. And see how I'm just doing the same motion over and over again. If I could pick up some more yellow. Just doing the same motion, and I'm just switching, flipping my hand left to right, pulling the colors towards each other. And you can see in just a couple of minutes, I made kind of a cool, uh, might it be killing it, but nope, I'll leave it. Pretty cool background, right? For just swooshing them around. Now, once this dries, you could either, just like we did at the very beginning, go over this with pencil, do a sketch on here. Even when the acrylic dries, you can sketch on it with pencil and still erase it even. It's, you just pretend that's just a blank white slate, slate. Just sketch on it however you want. Once you get it in the place you like, you can trace the pencil with Sharpie and erase all the weird marks, or you can just paint right over the pencil. Or if you're like me and this is a really dark color, you really just want to go on it with Sharpie. You don't want to hesitate or erase. Just whoosh, whoosh, see what comes out. Once this dries, you can go right over it with Sharpie. I just like making art in the way I do. <laughs> All right, so that's a couple ways you can start a painting. If you don't really know what you're going to paint. Or if you know what you want to paint, but you're not really sure what colors you're going to do yet. Okay, cool. Thank you for tuning into my art channel, liking and subscribing and commenting, help more people see my weird art. And I appreciate that so much. Thank you.